Well, a question that comes up a lot is indeed, since the vast majority of uh, events uh, occur early in a patient that comes in with an ACS, and we have the maximum benefit of prasugrel in the uh, uh, early time frame, particularly in the, in the first months, is it okay to switch uh, to uh, clopidogrel, for example, three, four, uh, five months down the road? And uh, the answer uh, to this is, we need to always analyze uh, the way the clinical trial was conducted. Uh, this was a trial uh, with, in which patients were studied out up to 15 months, and uh, patients were not randomized uh, to switch. So when we look at the overall clinical trial data, we should follow actually what was conducted in the trial and therefore continue with the treatment uh, for 15 months. Because one can also make the argument, if you switch uh, sometime uh, down the road, uh, at that point, there is a potential for an increase in uh, platelet reactivity and therefore also an increased risk of a recurrent atherothrombotic event. So uh, follow the guidelines and follow the design of the clinical trial, which means continuing out up to the uh, 15 months as a, a, a study. Well, we have uh, now uh, multiple uh, P2I12 receptor inhibitors, and uh, one of the questions is, is there perhaps an ideal uh, agent for patients uh, with uh, diabetes. Definitely a lot of interest in this patient population which is continuing to grow and we know that this is a patient population with the highest risk of a recurrent atherothrombotic event. Uh, we have uh, uh, data from uh, uh, two new trials uh, including triton 38 with Prasagrel and the PLATO trial uh, using uh, Ticagrelor. And then we also have data from the current OASIS-7 using high-dose clopidogrel. And uh, overall, what we can say is that there appears to be an enhanced benefit uh, with Prasagrel uh, in uh, patients with uh, diabetes. Uh, so uh, therefore, in uh, my patients undergoing coronary interventions in the setting of an ACS, uh, Prasagrel represents the treatment, uh, my treatment of choice for patients with diabetes. I'd also like to mention that even in the elderly uh, patients above the age of 75, there's also a benefit of a prasugrel uh, in uh, these patients, and this is the reason why uh, the FDA gave an indication for the use of prasugrel in the elderly uh, in uh, the presence of a background of diabetes as well as a prior uh, MI. Well, we do know uh, that uh, patients who have uh, uh, an event within a clinical trial uh, can, uh, down the road, have another uh, uh, recurrent atherothrombotic event. Uh, what we have learned from the triton Timmy 38 trial, that if a patient uh, had uh, an event while on clopidogrel and stayed on clopidogrel uh, afterwards, obviously if the patient survived uh, that uh, uh, first event, that patient had a higher risk of a recurrent atherothrombotic event compared to a patient who's uh, treated with prasugrel, And there's also uh, a difference in terms of mortality. Uh, so uh, definitely in my practice, if I have a patient coming in with uh, an event while on a clopidogrel, this represents a further reason uh, to uh, switch the patient to treatment with prasugrel uh, because of uh, this uh, data.